we got one more segment and it's gonna be a doozy you're gonna be so glad you stayed ah you stayed it's the vent normally in the vent uh one of us takes about a minute or two and we go over something that's really troubling us in the gaming industry and this is our time to kind of like get that off our chest so for some background, uh, we did a, <laughs> we did an original version of this podcast a little less than a year ago, and I stumbled upon the Intellivision Amico. It's a uh, upcoming console made by a, a reimagined uh, version of the company Intellivision, and it's supposed to basically focus on uh, remaking a lot of those retro Atari games. And I wasn't impressed, and a large swath of the YouTube community let me know that they were not impressed by uh, my research. So we put together a little package to sum everything up. Uh, Mars, roll that bad boy. I'm here today to talk about Intellivision and our brand new video game console, Amico. This console is not launched yet, but it's already. <laughs> well, I it's, think I, I think I know it's what you're doomed about. from the start. <laughs> Have you heard of the uh, Intelli a Television Amico? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, know what you're I, I saw. I you read know? an article about that a couple months ago. Oh my God! <laughs> what happened to that? We did a tar that they were supposed to do. This is we're talking about the same this, thing. Okay. Yes. This, yes. This yeah. is it. But they had a video conference a couple weeks ago where they showed off the Amico and a couple games and the controller and this thing. Oh my God! <laughs> if it, if this thing is more than a hundred dollars, nobody's gonna buy this. Thing. <laughs> and I don't even know who's gonna who this thing is marketed for. But all right, anyway. Hi guys, maybe you don't understand it well enough, and that's fine. First of all, with proper research beforehand, instead of digging through your phone during the shooting, you would have known that it's pronounced Amico, not Amico. Same shit was said about we and we proved everyone wrong. What a stupid, judgmental reply. What are you, 12, to dismiss everyone who has an interest in this thing as being senile, or children, I the height of elitism. Welcome to the battle you never knew existed. See you in April, lol. If we are wrong, I will eat my hat. Well, first off, you don't even have a hat. <laughs> and I don't need one. <laughs> I don't need one because it is mid-July and I don't need to add hat to my diet. As you can see, the, Intel <laughs> the Intellivision Amico, um, I hope I am pronouncing it right. For all of you jerks out there who are probably watching this, um, it did not come out on April as it was supposed to. And there was no sign of it coming out anytime soon. There is still no hard release date for this thing. I still think it is stupid and unnecessary. I still don't think it's going to do well. And, oh, I did more research and I found out why some people were so committed to this thing is apparently this thing is crowdfunded on FIG. Oh, uh, y'all spent y'all, but y'all got yes. gas. Y'all <laughs> yeah. got gas. That's why you mad. I'll be mad too. If I got gas. <laughs> don't take it out on me. Don't get mad at your boy. Because I tried to warn y'all about your bad investment. <laughs> y'all put it in the wrong stock. <laughs> it didn't pay out. Should have bought some Doge. <laughs> here you are. <laughs> so, yeah, man. Um, this is really not me saying I told you so, because I still think it's a little too early for that. We got to wait for the Amico come out. We have to well, see how this thing does. Out this year. If it ever does. I think not coming out this year. If it ever does. This is more so me, like, moving the bookmark up. <laughs> This is me moving the bookmark up for all of you that want, thought I forgot. <laughs> thought I forgot about my commitment to eat or not eat hats. I know. I'm still watching. Waiting on you, Tom and Rico, to drop this thing or not drop this thing or finally admit that you bit off a little more than you could chew. Um, this thing could be what uh, could do well. I think the one thing that still holds this thing back is it's asking for way too much money. It's $250 when it ever comes out. And no. <laughs> right. It has a cornhole game. 
<laughs> yes. I think if the Dreamcast 2 has a better chance of being released. Yes! <laughs> and it would sell better. Because, <laughs> I mean, all right. So, and, and you, you made the perfect point. $250, and the exclusive they have is Cornhole, a new Earthworm Gym, and a new Evil Knievel game. A new Evil Knievel game? A new Evil Knievel game. That was the first Evil Knievel game. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, Bruh. so in the chat really quick, during the event, actually, it's about the Amiga, mm -hmm. is from Uberus, my favorite part of this Amico debacle is that they're claiming they got this money but most of those investments are just commitments and they have no mechanism to make them pay. It's great. Yes, yes, that's a good point. So it's not too late for y'all to renege. <laughs> Please hurry up and get your money back before they take it. And this is all, this is giving me Mighty Number no. 9 vibes. Oh. <laughs> I'm definitely getting big Mighty Number no. 9 vibes. Um, And I, I get it. We all want to go back to the days of yore. The last Mars Palooza, like you broke out the Atari 3600, and we were playing something. I don't remember what it was called, but it got live. And like we got a big crowd around us. And like I don't remember what it was. It was like Wizards and something. And it got freaking live. And I would love for another system to recreate that couch co op feel. The Miko's not going to do it. <laughs> no, like all right. So like my thing, my thing is this: just just from the little bit that I like seen of that, it's just that the fact that you needed crowdfunded and you you're nowhere near your goal. And I mean, this was Stop. years ago that it made that goal because that was the old shop in that clip. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> years ago. So yeah, like guys, get your get your money back. Yeah. And let, let me be clear, this is not me making fun of anybody who invested their money and who kind of got soothed by a snake oil salesman. I'll, <laughs> I'll make fun of him. <laughs> this is me advising you. This is me reaching out a hand, even though y'all call me a bunch of dirty names in YouTube. <laughs> me saying, like, Yeah, we read comments, y'all. Yeah, man. <laughs> Come to the light side. It's all right. I won't make fun. Get you some of this digital currency. No promise about Eno. He probably will make fun. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely. <laughs> but it, it has a friend. <laughs> but that's it, man. That's the bit. And that's the show. Oof.